Imagine if you could go back in time to watch the Berlin Wall fall or see what the famous Pearl Harbor looked like before the attack that forced the US to join World War II. Well, with Google's AI time machine, you could tread the streets of these famous landmarks and more, going back as far as the 1930s. Thanks to Google Maps' new AI feature, users can now virtually travel back in time and see how select cities like Berlin, Paris, London, and Warsaw have changed drastically. Using older aerial and satellite views of cities, combined with the historical knowledge we have, AI can recreate realistic virtual experiences of these cities. That means you can see what a typical person's commute and scenery must have been like ages ago. So even though you can't physically travel to the past, with this new AI technology, you can get really close by virtually exploring these sites. And beyond being a really cool way to pass the time, Google's time machine could have other practical applications. For one thing, if you're a student of architecture or work in urban planning, using this virtual aid can make your textbooks and case studies seem a lot less abstract. Instead of using 2D pictures and maps trying to understand older architectural styles and city planning, you can visit those locations virtually yourself. That would make it a whole lot easier to understand in more detail what type of materials older generations used and how they managed their resources. You'd be able to see how factors like war have influenced modern architecture. For instance, pre-World War German cities like Berlin, Dresden, and Munich had buildings that adopted a lot of Baroque, Gothic, and neoclassical styles that had intricate details. However, post-war rebuilding concentrated heavily on simplicity and functionality, favoring minimalist designs due to financial constraints. Through Google's AI's time machine, you could see how streetscapes changed from cobblestone roads to modern asphalt concrete. With more time-accurate depictions of older cities, modern developers could more accurately preserve and restore ancient monuments. That means natural disasters or accidents like the fire of Notre Dame in 2019 wouldn't mean the end of such historical sites. Beyond studying historical cities and restoring famous landmarks, this AI time machine could help us see the future. N no, not literally, like in the sci-fi movie Arrival. By studying the past, we can anticipate the future through predictive analysis. For instance, through previous satellite views of Detroit, we could study how the city quickly grew into an industrial powerhouse, but gradually declined in the 60s when a building boom caused people to move to the suburbs. This AI simulation could then help modern city planners avoid the same mistakes and create better cities that utilize all their resources and limit a housing crisis. But Google's time machine could do more than help us build bigger and better cities. It could also save our planet. By going back in time, you could watch a virtual speed run of the melting of the polar ice caps or see rising sea levels that threaten to engulf low-lying islands countries like the Maldives. These simulations could better help us understand how human activity and natural disasters are affecting our environment. Like with urban planning, we can also run predictive simulations to see how much time we have before we begin to feel the ripple effect of lost, you know, biodiversity and islands to the ocean. It would be a great opportunity for environmentalists to lobby for policy changes that could prevent coastal erosion, deforestation, and flooding. After all, what would spring break look like if cities like Miami were, you know, submerged? And thanks to Google's time machine, we have the tools to make long-term planning decisions that can mitigate disastrous environmental changes. A year ago, Google Earth put out a video where a machine learning and geospatial data scientist announced the launch of CloudScore Plus, an AI-powered processor that can detect clouds and shadows using satellite imagery. On the surface, it may not sound groundbreaking, but when we consider that current models of satellite imagery like the Sentinel-2 have had major issues capturing objects obstructed by clouds and shadows, you'll understand why this is a major breakthrough. Clouds and shadows can be a real pain in the you-know-what for geospatial analysis trying to conduct studies because it affects the quality of their images. 
As a result, cloudy days can delay and even obstruct important events, which is where the Cloud Score Plus comes into the picture. Using advanced AI technology, it can essentially see through the obstructions in cloudy satellite images and create a clearer pixel by pixel image. That makes it easier to capture more realistic aerial and satellite shots of modern cities. It'd be possible to create photorealistic recreations of modern places, and humans living hundreds of years into the future could take a walk down your street and experience the same views you do. Who knows, they may even stop in front of your house and wonder what you did every day, and whether you were generous enough to hit the like and subscribe button. Combined with Google's latest Street View camera, which weighs less than 15 pounds by the way, the tech giant can capture even the most remote locations with better accuracy. If you live in a city or town where Google Maps isn't that accurate or non-existent, if you will, you could become a Google Street View Trekker. Featuring a compact backpack with the same camera system as the one mounted on its street cars, this trekker can help explorers document hard to reach or off-road locations on foot. Its images have even been used to map places like the Great Barrier Reef and ancient temples of Cambodia, preserving them in time for, yeah, time travelers that would like to visit these locations in the future. While Google is on a mission to bend time by recreating realistic walkthroughs of the past and future, Apple users can do the same with space by transporting their consciousness to the sky. And no, that's not an exaggeration. It's the direct tagline for Monkey Media's app called Teleport available on Apple devices. This app allows users to experience a first person drone flight once they put on their headsets. So forget about craning your neck upwards to control your drone with a remote control. Teleport uses intuitive body movements to provide a one-of-a-kind simulation experience and moves the drone through different modes so users can control their flying drones hands-free. Doesn't that sound pretty awesome? One user review read, At one point, I could look down at myself and wave, which was a total out-of-body experience in a good way. So, I mean, while Google's AI time machine can use old aerial photos, that help us walk through London's busy streets in the 80s, Monkey Media's Teleport can help you fly over modern cities in real time. As impressive as Google's innovative AI technology is, it doesn't really count as time travel, at least not in the same way we imagine jumping to the past like in sci-fi movies like The Terminator, or seeing our future selves in family-friendly adventures like Meet the Robinsons. But what if that were indeed possible? Well, several months ago, a couple videos went viral when Apple announced the launch of their latest product with a mind-altering concept called Apple Teleport. For the staggering price of $29 million, distance would be no obstacle to its users by giving them the power to instantly teleport across the globe. One of the videos even included Tim Cook, the CEO of the company, stating that today marks the beginning of a new era as Apple's teleportation device will overcome geographical barriers and expand the possibilities of human experience. Imagine visiting the world's most remote locations or being with loved ones in a blink of an eye. The possibilities are endless. Picture being able to visit your family in another country without bothering about the logistics of purchasing a plane ticket you could also visit tourist attractions like the pyramids in an instant. Unfortunately, these pictures and videos turned out to be completely false and simply the product of AI's imagination running wild. But you know, how cool would it be if Apple Teleport really existed? And do you think it would be worth $29 million to instantly transport yourself to any location of your choice? Let me know in the comments. Alright, enough of the fictional stuff. What about Apple products that are real? While Apple may not have a physical transporter or time machine that can bend the laws of physics, they do have an impressive built-in backup feature for their Mac OS with the same name. Time Machine, as they call the software, automatically backs up files hourly and stores it on your local storage device or external disk, allowing users to restore their systems to prior settings. 
So if you run into any problems with your Mac, you could travel back in time to when it was okay without the fear of losing important documents on your system. As impressive as that is, there's more. Apple also recently announced the launch of a new AI that will use advanced machine learning algorithms to analyze user behavior in real time. In other words, it's a way for Apple to closely monitor your habits while using their devices so they can suggest more tailor-made recommendations for you. As a result, the tech giant is confident that their new AI launch would increase customer satisfaction and enhance your experience. For example, a better learning model would make Siri, Apple's virtual assistant, a lot, you know, smarter. You could ask it to remind you to buy that thing you talked about yesterday. Instead of asking you to clarify it, it would intuitively recall your conversation about buying, you know, extra cheese or another bottle of shampoo or orange juice without the pulp. You could also get more personalized music recommendations or alternate routes based on current traffic conditions on your usual commute. So while you may not be able to skip your boring meetings or, you know, relive beautiful memories from your past, Apple's new AI could save users significant hours by giving faster responses and completing tasks faster than ever. To keep up with the pace with Apple, Google has also launched a new machine learning model called Generative AI. This application comes in a user-friendly format that can improve customer interactions by making detailed lists of eateries, stores, or places to visit based on your budget and proximity. For example, if you find yourself in a new town, you could use this feature to get accurate recommendations on where to eat or things you could do for fun based on past information um, about, you know, allergies, hobbies, and current finances. You wouldn't have to walk to the closest restaurant only to find out that the only thing on their menu you can afford is a bottle of water. Have you used generative AI feature on Google Maps yet? How useful was it? Another way we could figuratively time travel is by using generative AI to interact with our future selves. A common question interviewers like to throw at prospective hires is, where do you see yourself in five years? And while that might leave you scratching your head, imagine if AI could instantly tell you what your day-to-day -day life might look like based on your current goals and career trajectory. The best part is you don't have to spend millions on a fancy gadget or download a new app on your phone. Open source generative AI platforms like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude can give vivid descriptions of where you might find yourself in a couple of years. However, it's Accuracy largely depends on how much information about your personal life you feed it. And of course, it doesn't account for major life-changing events that could drastically change your life's trajectory. But it's certainly a nice prompt you can type in right away if you're curious. If you'd like some visuals to make your interaction feel more, you know, realistic, you can take it a step further by using the web-based platform researchers at MIT's Media Lab developed. This app, Future You, collects pictures of users and ages it up to allow you to meet and chat with your future self. So you can talk with a virtual 60 year old version of yourself, ask questions about your future and get useful advice. While it might sound super silly, the researchers working on this project found that it helped participants engage in high future self continuity habits like, you know, saving money, studying harder, and reducing their anxiety about the future. I guess there's just something about an AI powered version of yourself telling you to add more money to your retirement plan or put in more hours of work that, well, motivates people. In a way, it's like having your future self travel back to the present to ensure you achieve your dreams. Now that sounds like time traveling. Other AI tools like Extrapolate focus more on the aesthetics of your future self. In other words, you can use this free tool to generate hyper-realistic predictions of yourself in 10 or even 50 years. While the Future You app can do that, Extrapolate has more of an edge because it uses deep learning algorithms developed by aging professionals. That means it can simulate effects like wrinkles, sagging, and hair graying with remarkably accurate results. But could we time travel? 
Despite hyper-realistic simulations making it easier to relive historical periods with staggering accuracy and using advanced AI machine learning to condense the time it takes to perform certain tasks, none of these inventions live up to the mind-blowing reality of being a time traveler. Unfortunately, while time is a fascinating concept in theory, that's really all there is to it, you know? Theory. For now, humans are unable to grasp the complex calculations it would take to make such a concept possible. But scientists like Albert Einstein have proposed scenarios that could make it possible for you to transport yourself from the modern era to the roaring 20s. In this general theory of relativity, he proposed hypothetical structures in space called wormholes that could act as shortcuts between two distant points in space and time. In recent studies, astronomers have even proposed that microscopic wormholes could be driving the accelerated expansion of our universe. Unfortunately, determining where these wormholes are born requires complex calculation and quantum gravity that modern science is yet to understand. However, with advancements in AI technology, scientists could process larger data sets and run multiple simulations that could help with these calculations. So what do you think about Google's AI time machine? Which city or time period would you like to visit? Let me know in the comments section below.